Hello everyone and welcome to Battlefy Week 14. This is the Community Cup. We're going at you live, bringing us some lovely Evolve action with some lovely people. We're going to be going in. We have ourselves Cory X going to be representing the monster side here. We're going up against Pyramid's Door Ajito. We're going to be playing on the hunter side. And we're going to be going with a Bog Kraken, going up against a Rogue Val, a Griffin, a Parnell, and of course a Hank, going to be played by nobody. And they are being nice to me this time, and they are not switching who's playing what and blah, all over the place. Because it means i got to update everything on the fly. So, no. Stay where you are. No, I'm kidding. You can show it which if you want to. It's, it's fine. It's just means you're going to boggle the mind of the caster. <sighs> now that I got that out of my chest, we're going into the game now. We got ourselves some awesome people playing some awesome games. We're going to be going up. The current score is actually going to be 1-0 in favor of Pyramids Dojito. Going up to Schlop. I think that's how you say it. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but it happens. We're looking at it. We got ourselves some uh, action coming in. Ra map has changed. We're looking at Wraith Trap. Hopefully, this will be more in favor of Corey X. But as we saw previously coming out of Pyramid's Dorogito, we are looking at them. And they did some great maneuverability on the map as we saw them play previously. Build-wise, at Stage 1, we're seeing one Lightning, two Vortex going with the same build. And we're seeing a similar stealth idea coming out of... Uh, Corey X. Yeah, man. There we go. Gotta make sure we're on the right one here. Going up, and he's actually gonna stealth this way over to Helipad by the looks of it. Oh, he did knock over the plant. Oh, two plants. Doesn't want to eat those. Or he does eat them. Does miss them. Let's see if it works. Yeah, and they know the track stops, so they know they're trying to figure that out. Make their decision on which path to go. And it looks like they're actually doing a four-way split right now. If you look at the map right now, they're all splitting in different directions, trying to see if they can get a spot. We have Medic, Assault, and we have the Trapper coming in. Trapper's actually the closest, which is a good sign for them. He's able to get that spot. He is trying to eat underneath the helipad, so he's not revealed. He should be in smell rays right now. Pink's coming out. He did hear the vortex coming in, so one troll is going to be calling that out immediately, trying to make sure that his teammates are in perspective. If he domes him right now, one troll's dead. No doubt about it. If one troll jumps in and domes him a little bit too early, he's dead. He's just on the edge of smell radius, so he Coriax knows that he's there. And he's just doing a little bit of posturing right now between him on the low ground and him on the high ground. Nobody's on his way. So right now it's the bounce between these two right now. He's just trying to posture his way around. He has to make a decision on which direction he's going to go. He could hug, hug the edge and try and stealth his way past, but he's going to have a rough time doing it. One troll is actually being shielded right now by nobody. Just a little bit of spam shield saying, hey, buddy, I'm here. One troll is actually on the opposite side right now. He's outside distance. He's at 80 meters. Corey actually going to be looking. Is he able to get it, though? Jetpacking all over the place. Here come the pinks. They got the measurement out right now. He's at 70 meters, not quite able to get it. He's going to be pushing himself. Does he know that he's stealth? I don't think they know that he knows where he is. Does he, do they know that he knows that he knows that they knows that they know that he knows? That's the question right now. And here comes the dome. Getting captured. One troll throwing in sound spike to make sure that he get the reveal up right now. Probably will put a, a second one right there just trying to lock him in from this corner. He's going to be shooting around that corner. There comes the reveal. Sound spike's going to be shock, locking it in. Corey's coming in for it. Does actually miss on the lightning strike. Just barely as one troll's using that ledge to protect him as much as he can. Trying to see what he can grab right now. Vortex is being used. Trying to lock him down. Does actually choose to keep on targeting right now. Switching over to one troll. Keeping on him right now. Here comes the lightning connection. Does get shielded by nobody. Here comes the vortex though. Doesn't connect. And he's just going to keep on popping it. Laser cutter coming out of nobody, trying to recharge that shield. Getting here comes the shields fully ready to go. Switch the target says, hi, you're going to keep shielding them? Fine, I'm coming for you. Down he goes. Throws the vortex at nobody trying to get. Here comes the orbital, though. Going to be thrown. It doesn't connect. Here comes the lightning for it. Does not connect on one troll. is going to be bursting off to the side. They are through all the armor at this point, trying to see what they can grab for health damage. They are through the first bar of health damage. Drilling it on forward, pumping it forward, and more of these auto attacks. Vortex is being thrown, melting of everything halfway through. Here comes the lightning coming backwards. One troll is going to be taking that. Doesn't actually, just kidding. JK guys didn't actually take the lightning strike. Zoltan's getting some health damage though as he's on pursuit right now, shooting him in. Harpoon's going to be slowing him down and making sure that Zoltan's able to get a couple extra shots with that rocket. Does get through two and a quarter bar of health damage. So that's going to be a good start to this, this game right now. The score is currently 1 0. So that means that they're going to be able to, you know, lock in this victory. If their monster player is able to win, as long as they're able to push it in this game, should be in a good time. Otherwise, we might be in a tiebreaker situation like we saw previously with this team. This is the semifinals of Battlefy Community Cup Week 14. That's where you're looking at it right now. 
trying to see what exactly is happening. And it's just going to be punishing damage coming forward as Cory X is trying to use the terrain to his advantage, as we saw there. He went around this giant orange obstacle, which means that it's impassable. You cannot do anything except go around it. He is currently stage one, trying to get himself evolved ready to stage two. And he's having a rough time. The food is right now is spawning with him right now, just barely spawning in front of him. He's got a little bit in the back, though. However, he is choosing to go up to the north section of the map yet again. So he's trying to keep as much distance between him as possible without getting cut off. So that's why you're not seeing him go into this corner, because if he goes into this corner, he's losing distance on the hunters. So he's going up to this point. He's trying to find some striders or something. Just nothing is here for him to eat. It's just a rough time for him to be his monster because he can't find any food. He needs to get himself evolved ready to stage two. And he's having a rough time at it. He does have, you know, it is four minutes, but he is domed again. One troll actually doing a great job locking in and stepping forward. Didn't even know he was in distance actually at that point. So that was a great play by him. Locking him in. He's at 40 meters away trying to lock it in. Trying to see what they can spot. He is on the low ground. Whoever is one troll's just shooting the arrow over on the high ground. Here we go. Lead Machine's going to be eating a lightning to the face. Does get shielded by nobody as we see Zoltan using the Super Soldier. Make sure he's able to get that. At that point, one troll is actually in the corner right now. Trying to keep himself alive. And nope, he's going to get Vortex down to the low ground as he's trying to get Zoltan and mitigate. And here we go. Going around the corner. Is he going to turn on Zoltan? Yes, he does. Gets throws out the lightning. Does not connect though as Zoltan takes that step forward with that Super Soldier jump height. We've been rocking it. We take a look at perks now. We have ability recharge on Corey. We have a quick switch on Zoltan. We have lead machine doing a little bit of capacity. Nobody doing some capacity. And we have one troll running some movement speed, which is how he's able to lock in these quick domes. Looking to see what he can do. And we're just seeing him finally about to break through all the armor of Corex. They're going to be able to be back on armor damage as dome is actually about halfway through completion. They just break through armor. They're going to get through the plant. It's actually coming in. And plant actually gets slowed down. And nope, dome's actually done. Sorry, I missed the timer there a little bit. Lightning's getting thrown down over at one troll. Does connect, but it is quickly shielded. They're through to the last bar of armor. Last story, last bar of health is getting vortex backwards. Poison arts being used. Harpoons being used to slow them right on down. Trying to see how they can help them out. One troll is doing a great job getting out these harpoons. And there comes another one right around the corner from the tree. Bending around the corner, wrapping around it, and making sure that they're slowed right down so that the hunter team can keep on shooting Corex right in the rear. Zoltan, however, is doing what he can to try and get it. Here's going to be the last bit of ar bit of armor right here to fill up that Evolve meter. No, he's still one short. <laughs> Needs one more meat. Good thing there's three, four right here. Looking at it right now, we're looking at a 22 milliseconds monster right now trying to have some fun. And he looks like he's got a good connection to the server. He's going right on forward, and he's just trying to lock everything in. But here we go. One troll is doing a great job slowing him down, trying to make sure he's not able to get anything. Lightning strike being thrown backwards does not connect. Hurry, hurry up, Corex. One troll is about to have his dome ready. If he gets, if he stays within radius, you're going to be in for some hurt. It's going to be time for some chops. He's at 70 meters right now. Needs to keep him separated. Trying to get himself into a stage two situation so he can gain some health and become more durable and be ready to fight against this hunter team. He's going to be looking to get himself underneath the helipad or over here, maybe over here in this corner, this little cubby. Here it is. Yeah, there's the Evolve. He'll be ready to go, Stage 2. He is going to get domed immediately upon arrival of the Evolve. So here it comes. A boost coming forward. Can be looking at it. Here we go. Throws it out the dome. No? Yeah, there's the ping for distance. Okay. So what he did there was actually a really nice play. He threw the ping so he can get a distance with the wall. And that way he knew that he wasn't going to have any loops. However, there's a giant loop right here. He did a great job cutting off this loop, one troll. But you forgot about the giant loop right there. It's okay. The Ballerina Kraken may be strong. As we're looking at it right now, he's going in right now. He is going through. He is going for the Stage 2 build. We have two Lightning, two Banshee, two Vortex. He's trying to see what he can grab right now. Looking to see where he can punish and where he can get as much damage as possible. Lightning's getting thrown down. Does get shielded by nobody. Nobody's right there ready with that shield. He's just trying to get everything. They are through all the armor tests down to health damage. Punishing forward. Snowball's being thrown. Auto attacks, vortexes, everything's being thrown on Lead Machine. Lead Machine trying to survive. One troll's dodging the lightning strike. Is it just down to nobody and Lead Machine in the back? Trying to keep himself sealed up and shielded up. Does he have good line of sights to everyone on the team right now? As Zoltan's in the front, just dealing lots of damage. Trying to keep himself protected. And we're looking at it right now as we've got one troll trying to do the harpoons to pull the Kraken down from the high ground. Going to be throwing it out. Here comes the lightning. Does connect on Zoltan. Zoltan's going to get corner locked in a second, but it's only one bar of health remaining on the monster. Dome is released. He's going to be able to run. If he's able to get a little bit of distance and break line to sight, he could be okay. And he's going to be looking to see what he can get. Harpoon's going to be slowing him down, though, not letting him get around the corner. Vortex is being thrown, and down he goes. Nomad steps in. Lightning strike being thrown in as a last ditch effort. Connects on two. And here comes the poison for the finish, and down goes the monster. Corey X Gaming. Down he goes. And we're going to be going into the next game and seeing what happens on the other side. But in the meantime, that makes this side to a 2-0 lead in favor of Pyramid's Dora Gito. As we are going into the next round, 
We'll be ready to go. And in the meantime, guys, that means it's time for the end game discussion. Everything's being done. That was the stats for the round. As we're going to be looking back, but here comes the fade in, fade out for the sake of anything that you guys know and love all the well. If you're in the VODs, because that means you guys don't get to worry about the in between stuff. And if you're watching live, be back in a second. We're trying to sneak ourselves over to the other side. So we'll be back in a minute, guys. <laughs> 